Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Stan Rio. Welcome to Final Fantasy XIV with Elliot Rose Battle. Sorry I had internet connection issues uh, last week, but hopefully that will get solved pretty soon. Welcome everybody to 2016. The new year has started. And it's really awesome, really fun. I'm looking forward to the new year. And what is the best way to introduce the new year? Probably with a new year event. Huh? Sounds good. We're currently right now located in Gridania in the old Gridania location. So if you go to New Gridania, go to Old Gridania. And right here, near the Mick Kratos Amphitheater, right? With the big center thing right here on the entire map, you'll be able to see all these nice little decorations of the New Year event. We got some kites with Moogles on them, we got some kites with chocobos on them, snowman is still just chilling here around and stuff, got a bunch of decorations everywhere. The New Year has officially come to Eorzea. And we're gonna do the event for the new year. My very first new year event for Final Fantasy XIV. This should be really fun. I think we should talk to you here, maybe? This part of the quest. Still for gratitude. I send the caretaker of Mayor Kipo's Amphitheater needs an adventure to help her tidy up. Uh, I'm not sure. I think this is necessary. Let's go and do Well, it's a level 2 quest, so I'm not sure that's gonna be really needed. I'm gonna just leave it be for now. We'll do it if necessary. But let's go ahead and go inside the Amphitheater. So the first thing that we see here, right here in front of us, is the monkey handler, and what I'm guessing is the monkey. It actually looks like an owl and a monkey crossbreed. It's kind of cute looking. I like it. I don't. It's like cute. There we go. The monkey crossbreed. <laughs> so we can get a better picture of it and see what it's like. <laughs> All right. Let's talk to the handler. See what he says. Greetings, I've come with a delegation to introduce our customs to Eorzea, and what particular duties involve training and caring for our monkey performers. This splendid creature is Juramu. Though many find his size girth, in uh, girth intimidating, I assure you he is possessed with a most gentle spirit. Now, so, he, he, so he is a monkey. Wow, he looks like an owl and a monkey crossbreed. <laughs> it's kinda cute though. Oh my god, look at this. We got a balloon with a, fr <laughs> with a French mustache. <laughs> That's kind of awesome. I like that. What else we got? Here? A mochi, a mochi daikon. Hello there, mochi daikon. I'm the mochi daikon, and the, and making a mochi is my calling. But if you fail to even bring rice cakes to the festival, then it may as well be the heart being pounded in those mortars. Oh, no, I'm guessing we have to bring the heart back to the festival. It's raining. Not really the most festive weather out there, but it's nice. I like the lights and decorations. They look very nice. And here we got. Uh, in front of us, Saru Bigyo, I think that's his name, and he has a monkey on his head. <laughs> it looks pretty cool though, I kind of like it, the armor looks pretty awesome. I think the reward we get from this event is the helmet maybe? Let's go ahead and talk to you. The monkey about town. The distressful Saru Bigyo looks pleasing in your looks pleasantly in your direction. This quest is available for limited time only. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. This should be pretty exciting. Looking forward to this. The new event, let's begin. You're a woman of the adventuring persuasion, yes? I was told that those of your profession are often willing to lend aid to those in need, and I'd hope to impose upon your kindness. Ah, but you must think my manners have deserted me. I'm Saru Bigio. Uh, I said his name wrong, didn't I? Saru Bigio, part of the Far Eastern delegation, to come to introduce our Heavenstern custom to Eorzea. Whether the season of Heavenstern arrives on our shores, we have a tradition where, uh, wherein in monkey. Wherein monkeys, creatures perceiving as living symbol of good fortune, are welcomed into our uh, towns as an integral part of the festivities. We would like to share, excuse me, this tradition with you people. Are you perhaps familiar with the practice? No, we are not. That's the first time I'm doing it, so I'm not familiar. No, we are not. Please tell us more about it. It is common, you see, for monkeys to be recruited to our festival performer as as by our festival performers. The, creature joyful, the creature's joyful antics are known to serve as a beacon for the harmonious and positive energies. I am saddened, then, that the Eorzeans do not hold a favorable opinion of these playful beings. Quite the opposite, in fact, the monkey is a wild beast to be cast out and, re and reveled. There is much to be done if we are to undo this undeserved reputation. Thus did I consult with a mochi daikon, our master of rice cakes, and settled upon an event that will surely soft, uh, soften this antagonistic attitude. Our plan involves the making of veritable mountain of rice cakes, and then having these fortuitous streets distributed to the masses by the very animals they appear to desire or despise. 
As matters stand, we have been able to contact the uh, the mausoleum col coliseum. Damn it, I can't read today. The coliseum. Sorry, I, I I'm a little sick. My tongue is a little numb. The coliseum of Oda, and organize some Hulk Hulk Hulk. Hulk Hockey Cyclops to begin pounding the rice in the outskirts of the city states. Unfortunately, however, this activity soon attracted the attention of several wild Opa Opos, who proceeded to dart in and snitch, uh, snatch handfuls of freshly pounded mochi. I feel that their mischievous behavior will only reinforce the reputation of monkeys as pests. Before the uh, before omens of prosperity further damage our cause, or before this, whatever you know. <laughs> Before these deferred omens of prosperity for the damage I'll cause, I would ask that you retrieve the mochi from one of the cyclops and deliver it into the waiting paws of Jurumaru. Guessing it's the big guy over there. Oh yeah, it's that guy over there. <laughs> the owl monkey thing. He and his handler will travel behind and join you at whichever rice pounding site you choose to visit. If you can but perform this one service, then the festivities may continue as planned. Jurumaru, our most gentle and magnificent companion, shall hand our advert cakes to all and sundry, filling both hearts and bellies with warm appreciation of all monkey kind. Hoping to share the heaven's stern custom with the realm, the Sarubugyo Saru and his Far Eastern delegation have organized rice pounding sites across the land of Eorzea. The fate pounding rice pounding hearts can be found at any of the, no at the following locations. Southeast of Zephyr Gate in Middle Lanosea. Okay, I'm gonna have to remember that. East of Salt Strand in Lower Lanosea. Southeast of Benbridge Meadows in the Central Shroud. Hmm. I guess I got to be more locations. So southeast of Ben Branch, uh, southeast of Zephyr, east of Salt Strand, okay. South of Hermes and North Stroud, southeast of Old uh, Dispatch Yard in Central Thanalan, and east of Camp Drybone, on Eastern Thanalan. Damn. Complete the phase by retrieving Advent Cakes to Jiromaru, then return to the Sarubugo with news of his success. I guess we're starting the event, we're gonna see what it's gonna be like. She was pretty fun, so god. Okay, glad it actually told me. Oh, what's going on here? Oh, another player. Hello. Glad it told me here what the locations are. Let's see, battle events. Okay, it's gonna be not part of events, it's gonna be part of general. Hmm. Let's see. So, what we can go to here now? The closest area we can go to is maybe the North Shroud? No, Central Shroud. We can do that. Bent Branch Meadows. Southeast of Bent Branch Meadows in Central Shroud. Let's go check that place out. Central Shroud. Bent Branch Meadows, Southeast. Oh, I can go over here. Let's go do that. Let's go teleport to Central Shroud and see if we can do some fates. So we gotta retrieve the uh, cakes from the fates. Hmm, I think I actually might have found the location for this place now that I think about it. Hmm, okay, it looks like there's a monkey handler over here. Yeah, there's a monkey ha Oh, hello there. Alright, so it looks like I... Let me go ahead and make sure... Oh, never mind. I'm just not even gonna worry about the timer. I had the timer on at first, but whatever. Looks like there's another person here. Let's go ahead and start this up. Alright, starting up the event. Oh, hello there, strong man. Uh, there's... Let me go ahead and level 6 myself to level 10. Okay. There's not much here. Stacy has a pounding by the mallet oversized clubs. Number of ventures are needed to retrieve advent cakes from Hammerstone and Mortar. Avoiding any monkey mischief. That guy's currently charging up the thing. We kill the mochi, or what do we do? Hey, where are you running to? Where's the guy running from? Oh, I got knocked back a little bit there. Observe how the Cyclops swings his mouth before making your approach. I think we gotta kill the strongman Cyclops, right? I think that's what we gotta do, right? Oh no, I have to... Oh, no mind. Okay, I see. I gotta actually get the mochi from him. Okay, I see what I gotta do now. Oh, and avoid that. Oh, okay. I get it now. Whoops. Oh, I, okay. We're sort of... It'll be okay. Come on, girl. It's okay. Don't worry. There we go, girl. There we go. Okay. So he has one long swing, one short swing. Gotcha. Let's go and deliver you the uh, mochi. There you go, buddy. There you go. Ook, ook. Yep. Ook, ook for you, buddy. Ook, ook, too, too. Gotta get the wild opa opa. That's what we gotta do. 
12 for him to swing the hammer. Okay, so now I'm getting this. I'm actually getting this now. Avant Mochi, we gotta avoid that. As the Avant Mochi is actually gonna be attacking us. Probably attack it now first. And one short swing. Oh, now he's doing a small swing now. Okay, so another swing coming in. He should be doing a short swing afterwards. I'm gonna get the wild Oppo Oppo, see if I can get him taken out real quick. Come on, short swing. Yep, short swing again. Make sure I put him on focus here. Okay, so another short swing. And this final one should be longer. Okay, good, good, good. Gotta figure it out. Sweet, okay, cool. Now we can get another mochi. There we go, Adam and Cake. There we go, now get out of here. Okay, good. <laughs> Alright, awesome. So that's how we do it. Just wish we had more players helping me out here, but... I think I'll be okay about myself. Here you go, bud. Okay, and now his third one should be long one. Yep, that's a long one. Let's go get this wop opo opo. Let's go get the cake. Come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Good, 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 good. Let's go back our way over here before he swings another hammer. I'm finally starting to get the mechanic here, so we just go ahead and just bring this thing back. I'm pretty sure this will be a lot more fun with more players completing it, but pretty sure everybody already done it for the event. I'm kind of late here to the party. <laughs> Another wild opo opo, huh? Now I'm gonna see if I can go around to the advent mochi over there. There we go. Now we gotta get the wild opo opo. Come on, short swings, buddy. Come on, do a short swing. Oh, no, he's doing a long swing now. Let's get another one. Come on. There we go. Get out of here. Get out of here. Oh, God. <laughs> Run for it. Oh god, this is actually- yeah, I know I have plenty of time to run away, but it still kind of puts me on the edge a little bit. There we go, here your mochi. How many more do we need? We need at least like... 20 or something. Maybe more. There's another opo opo over there. Oh, let's go for the opo opo. There we go, get a mochi. There we go. Get out of here! Hey buddy, you might want to run too! Valen, run, dude! <laughs> run! Oh, now you're back to help me out. Alright. Thanks, bud. Appreciate it. Let's go and return him back. There we go. Okay, cool. It's gonna be short swing now. Okay, long swing. Go for it. Come on, quickly. I'll get the wild opo opo. Cool. I wonder if I can get some mochi out of here. Maybe a couple. A couple grabs. Okay, I can get a couple grabs. Good. Run away! <laughs> there we go. Here you go, Jormaru. Here you go, bud. Yeah, you might want to be careful with that Evan Mochi, bud. Okay, let me go nick it real quick. There we go. Go for it, go for it. Come on, come on. Wild up, wild up. And now we get the barrel. Come on, dude. Get over here. <laughs> what are you doing? Get over here. Grab some Mochi. Quickly. Before the swing happens. I'll see if I can grab a third one. I'm going to be a little ballsy here. Let's do it. Alright, run, dude. Might want to run really fast. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got some advent cakes. Good. There we go. Advent cakes. Sweet. We need a little bit more. We good. A little bit more. We good. Oh, short swing. Wait for a long swing. Yep. There we go. Long swing. Let's do it. I got the wild opo opo. There we go. Grab, grab at least two. Grab at least two. You'll be fine. Grab second one. Okay, now we run. Just go for it, dude. Book it. Come on, quickly, quickly. Hurry up, hurry up. Oh god, he's gonna get squished. Oh no, he's fine. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and turn him in. There we go. And we are all done. Sweet. Now we just gotta wait like 57 seconds. Oh, here, let me help you out here, bud. Let me get at least one more here. There we go. Yo, come on, hurry. You got, you're gonna get hit, dude. Hurry up. <laughs> you're gonna, oh, you gotta hit a little bit. You okay, bud? Don't worry, just walk it off. You'll be alright. Gonna return this. I got this Adam Mochi that's gonna keep targeting me, so I'm gonna go ahead and take it out real quick. After the hammer swings. There we go. Another wild swing. Don't go in there, bud. Oh, you got a snapping shoe on him. Yeah, let me help you out. There you go. Turn this in. And I think we're pretty much done, unless there's something more for us to do. I'm pretty sure this is not the final part here. Oh. Back away from that. That thing is freaking huge. Don't want to mess with that. You guys good? 
Hey, look at that. Nice. Midasaru uh, Bugio in Gridania. Alright, sweet. Let's go ahead and go back to Gridania. We go and turn this in. We gotta go to a new Gridania. There we go. It's gonna take us some guilt to, you know, get over there, but you know what? It's gonna be worth it at the very end. Alright, now that I'm back. I see there's a green marking merchant here. Let's see what they got here. Hard rice cakes. Okay, Zoni, that can be a food. Oriental orange basket. And uh, a Paisa doll. Alright, that's kinda cool. Sour Doshin, hello. Good evening to you, my lady. I'm Sour Doshin. It's my honor to be here in yours yet to welcome another Heaven's Turn to these shores. Is the auto might assist you with? What do you do here? Heaven's Turn, no. I'm actually kinda looking for a vendor that can summon masks or something. That'd be pretty sweet. There's somebody over there. No, they're just a vendor. Just a regular vendor. Alright, let's go inside of here and complete the quest. We already did everything. You know, all the fates necessary. Let's see what we get here. Adventurer, glad I am to see you return unharmed from your treacherous tasks. That the Adam and cakes you collected have been starched and rolled and made ready for the festival. See for yourself. Jomar hands out the hammerstone treats even as we speak. Oh, there he is. <laughs> He's just dancing around. It's pretty awesome. I heard they were performing some Far Eastern custom outside the city, and I went to see what all the fuss was about. When I saw those Oppo Oppos were doing, I thought for certain they were stealing the rice. But it seems that I was mistaken. It was all part of the performance. They were taking the rice treats so that the uh, well-fed Oppo Oppo could hand them out in town. <laughs> These are well-fed, okay, gotcha. Those clever beasts were even trying to stop foolish adventurers from being injured by shooting them away from nasty cyclops. And here I thought Oppo Oppos were naughty, not but a nuisance. Oh, well, okay, good thing Opa Opos get better credit for the sake of, you know, discrediting the adventurers. I'm afraid results have been somewhat misunderstood, but I suppose the result is what matters. <laughs> I agree. If people have begun to see monkeys in a more favorable light, then our mission here is a success. May the sticky goodness of Mochi bind us all closer together. <laughs> All that expense of the adventurer. Well, let us hope this approves. This proves to be the turning point for your original appreciation for Monkey and a fortune to bring. We are most grateful for your for your assistance. And as our customer has been so well received, we have decided to continue making and distributing rice cakes for the duration of the festival. One, uh, we would be most appreciative if you could choose to aid us again. Yeah, go for it. I can do that. And we get a reward. See no helm. Speak no helm. Or here no helm. Oh, I kind of want to see no helm. Let's do that. Oh, we get all three. Nice. Oh, no. oh, that's awesome. Looking free. <laughs> if you guys never had mochi, it's a little like a, a like a rice cake with a, like a rice jello outside and sometimes a filling on the inside. It's pretty good, but yet surprisingly one of the few uh, leading causes in Japan for death because they're so kind of like, like big and sticky and they can actually cause suffocation to like old people that don't chew them properly. <laughs> I looked up information on it, not even kidding you. It is one of the few uh, leading causes of death in Japan. <laughs> it is pretty bad. I mean, they're delicious and everything, but they're just a little too sticky sometimes. Anyway, let's go check out the new prize that we got here. We got three helmets that we can wear and then change just for fun. We got Sino Helm, which is... Oh, wait, I gotta make it enabled. So we get the monkey covering the eyes. Actually, I should probably go to a place... Actually, no, I'm just gonna face the light here a little better. There we go. Okay, so we got the see no helm as see no evil, speak no helm, speak no evil, and hear no helm, hear no evil. Out of the three masks, I actually, this one kind of covers the eyes, because, you know, see. This says, uh, here, means it just covers most of the ears, and this one is speak no, uh, helm. I kind of like it because it has the face mask on it. The monkey is a little, you know, kind of, you know, kind of funny as well, but overall I kind of like the whole, like, face covering mask. It kind of looks like a really cool samurai helmet. I like this a lot. I actually really, really like this. If possible, what I like to do is maybe get something, you know, get some dark. And even though he has a monkey on the head, I don't care. As long as I could get like a full black outfit for this character eventually, that'd be really freaking cool. For now though, I'm gonna put the helmet away and hide the helmet because the helmet we have currently equipped on us is a little derpy. The the helmets, the Sino helmet and stuff, those are actually pretty awesome. I'm really liking those. Let's go over to the trading post so I can store them away in my bank and talk to my buddy here that I've created before. 
But yeah, that was uh, the newest event. And if people want to do, you know, more of the event, they can also go through and uh, see if you can find more of those fates to do in order to collect Momochi and as well as buy some very exclusive items for the housing system if they want to do it. And people are more than welcome to do so. Actually, you know what? This was quirky. But that's the best part about Final Fantasy XIV events. They're quirky. They're not like a big and giant extravagant usually. Some of them are, you know, at times. But others are just nice and quirky and just, you know, kind of kind of, kind of of sweet. I don't know. They're pretty awesome. Let's call Gerard here and throw the helmets away. What will be this? I can't believe like, I always keep forgetting I made this guy. He's like a giant, like, alligator tail or something. <laughs> uh, I'm trusted with little items. Yeah, we can do that. Let's see. Items here. Open armory chest. Let's see. We're gonna stick our helmets in here. Speak no helm. See no helm. And here no helm. I like the see no helm. I, I like the uh, speak no helm because of the face mask thing. The see no helm is pretty cool because it covers the eyes. So if you want to play as a, that kind of a character that, you know, has the eyes covered, you can if you want to. Although, we'll gimp you significantly. <laughs> Alright, sounds good. I got pretty much everything out there, didn't I? Yep. Yep, I dug out everything. I don't have my golden chocobo feathers. I thought I would have those in here, but... Maybe they are somewhere in my inventory. Oh, there they are. Hold on one sec. Let me go ahead and do this here. Let's we'll summon the bell again. Call it Gerard again. Hey, Gerard. Gotta be back. Uh, come back here, buddy. Can we here for a moment? I want to give you something else here. Golden chocobo feathers that I don't need with me right now at the moment. You can have those, and that'll be it. That's it, buddy. Is that all? Guess I'll be on my way then. Alright, see you, Gerard. Alright, guys. Well, this was in the new year event, the Heaven's Turn event for Final Fantasy XIV. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, next episode, we'll be coming back to do the main campaign for the... Um, for Final Fantasy XIV and for the main questline in South Stroud and everything like that. But for now, I decided, you know what, it would be a nice time for us to kind of, you know, just enjoy the nice days of the New Year's event and stuff like that. And just kind of celebrate the New Year's event properly in the game by doing the New Year's event. <laughs> well, happy 2016, everybody. Let's make it a great year, alright? <laughs> anyway, hope you enjoyed. My name is Samriel. Like, subscribe, and as always, have a great day. See ya.